Ja, ja. Hvala lepa, dober dan. Um, nadaljeval bom v angliščini. Se ve, zakaj? So, let me start with the, some history. For thousands of years, man has built homes for himself and for gods he worshipped. Millions of workers are building homes and offices and museums and galleries at this very moment. And yes, we will continue building in the future because we need spaces for living, for working, for teaching, for learning. Buildings are one of the basic necessities of the human civilization. However, almost one-fourth of our population cannot afford proper housing. It is too expensive for them. This building requires a lot of material, energy, labor. On the other hand, building pollutes the environment. The production of cement alone is causing 5% man-made carbon dioxide, and then there is steel and glass and many other building materials that have to be produced and transported and built in. Now the question is, can we do any better? Well, we can do environmentally friendly building. Living bridges of Cherapanji in India are made from the roots of the ficus elastica tree. But this technology requires very special conditions and quite some time. And they cannot really solve the huge problem of civil industry, of, civil, of building industry. Now, nature was also the inspiration for another idea, for the concept of nanometer scale building that I want to present to you. The idea is based on tiny robots, bio nanorobots, which will be able to use light as the only source of energy which will be able to extract carbon from the CO2 from the air and produce carbon nanotubes with various required characteristics according to different light waves with which they should be able to recognize as instructions, like build a specific carbon nanotube material with electrical conductivity or build one which is transparent, or stop doing anything. Now, plant cells are actually able to fulfill the first two requirements. They use solar light and they do extract carbon from CO2 from the air. And scientists were also able to control bacteria by using light. Like in this example, um, which shows a rather simple way to control the bacteria E. coli and, and make it react on the light. Another example is more complex, where bacteria have been programmed in this synthetic genetic edge detection system. So we are able to control cells, bacteria. Plant cells are also known to produce cellulose, which is a very good material for building wood. However, no living organisms has been able to produce carbon nanotubes so far. This is but one of the challenges of our project. Now, 
Let me demonstrate the process of nanometer scale building. <coughs> Let's imagine we want to build such a house. First, we need to design a very detailed digital model, which should include all utilities like wiring and uh, plumbing, so everything we expect in a house. Then, imagine a projector erected above the place where the house should stand. Now the digital model is uploaded to this projector and the building process can start. Let me show you. So first, we need the workers, the bio nano robots. Just imagine they're in, okay? And then we have to have a parcel, a place of uh, where we want to build our house. Okay, I will now put this biots onto the surface, okay, I hope that's not. Then I will take the projector, of course the real one would be bigger than this. Switch it on, switch on, yeah, okay. Could we put that lights off a bit? Yeah, could, could we make the lights off, please? Or dim, yeah, that's better. It's much better. Of course, that projector shouldn't shake that much. Um, now, we need to choose the model, one of those uploaded models we have on this projector. Ah, this one is great. Okay. Now I hope this will work. Uh, now we start projecting the information, so the, the digital model from the bottom to the top, like this. So it builds up the bio nano robots taking the air, taking the carbon, building the carbon nanotubes, filling the holes with a specific carbon nanotube um, which is not stable, which will dissolve after some time. And after a few weeks, we have the house. We estimate uh, the time to build such a house uh, well, to be about 10 centimeters per day, which, well, I would be happy to have a house in a few weeks. Um, however, there are no negative impacts on the environment. Uh, actually, the vice versa, because we are using CO2 from the air, which we have plenty of to build that house. We have made another estimation um, how long will it take to develop this technology. It, ex it is expected to be about 20 years. Maybe it seems a lot to you now, but just consider the impacts. What needs to be done is the following. We need a uh, quite special building information model, a digital model, a holistic digital model which will really include all the details. So we need quite special tools for that. But this could be done in a few years actually. We are in a good way already. Um, we just have to be very careful uh, because any design error we do will be reflected in material. Then we need the light projector, of course, which uh, needs to have a very high resolution. Um, an even flux of light should be very stable. But this is also not seen as the major problem here. Then we need the nanomaterial. This model actually shows um, 
a design done, done by Thomas Moore, um, material scientist. And it is a three-dimensional carbon nanotube array, so a compact structure, not a powder as carbon nanotubes are produced nowadays as a powder. It's compact, and this is very important, of course. And it should, of course, preserve all those wonderful characteristics that carbon nanotubes have, like very high strength, about 100 times stronger than steel. And we can have characteristics that vary, like electrical conductivity, yes or no. It just depends on the geometry of the carbon atoms in the carbon nanotube. And, of course, we need the bio-nanorobots, which will do the work exactly as we want them to. This is the four requirements we are heading to. But does it feel like science fiction? If it does, just think of nature. It uses nanotechnology for billions of years. And it does it in the most creative ways. Thank you.